Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, tonight I'm going to continue talking a bit about GMX, the GA console, and how to create the, some managed beans that can actually, uh, where we can actually change the behavior of our application through the GA console. That means that if we need an, some kind of administrative uh, module or, or UI, we can actually choose to use the GA console uh, for exactly that instead of uh, always creating a web UI and spending a lot of time on that. Um, it, it is a, a possibility. And yesterday we saw how to do that with, uh, with Spring Boot. And um, I will just show it again, of course. So tonight it is Java. It is a little bit of Spring Boot, but it's mostly just yeah, plain Java and uh, GMX. Java, uh, um, uh, yeah, Java managed extensions, and we are going to look at the M, uh, the managed bean. Um, so, with the, if you're using the Spring Boot, then we saw yesterday we could just annotate with the add managed resource. Again, it's so easy with Spring Boot. Um, yeah, we do not need to write a lot of code, and if we could create an operation like this, operation parameter like this, uh, or, or yeah, some more, more operation parameters like that. So. Um, and then we could give in some, oh, that, that is only if we have parameters. There's actually no parameters on that method right there. This, if we have parameters right here that we want to set in our J console, then we add that. And if, if we want to uh, annotate it as an operation, then we can see it as an operation in the J console. But we saw all, saw all this yesterday, so I'm, got, no, I'm not going to repeat all of that. I just want to recap what we did. So today, let's see if we can, uh, we can use vanilla Java to do the same. And it's actually quite easy. Uh, and it's built in. It's a built-in mechanism. I uh, went to the demo app and went to our main because uh, since now that uh, we are not having Spring to write the code for us, we need to write a little bit of uh, of code ourselves. We need to get this mbean server right here, which we get like this. If if it's already created, then we just get an instance that already is there. Then we need to set an object name. I, I've set Mike.example in this case right here, and then type equals to do list that is just the name that we see in the j console and in, in just a minute when i start when i'll start it up then this is my new uh, this is an interface i need to create an interface so this is very very good for the architects architects they love interfaces even though they don't give any value and the same uh, yeah, the same goes in this situation right here we have a stupid interface and it's a little bit annoying that we have to create that um yeah but that's how it is that is the convention at least so that is at least a convention. So we have this uh, interface right here, and we need to, the convention say that we need to name it mbean in the end. That means that I, I have a to-do list that I would like to create as, an, as a managed bean. That means that then um, I need to add mbean on the interface. So this is the interface. And here we have some methods. I would like to list all of the to-do. So I would like to add a new to-do. I would like to delete a to-do. I'd like to get the latest to do and get uh, get the whole list. The, the reason why I'm creating these two is because I want to show you that it's possible also to have attributes in the GA console. I did not show you that yesterday, so that's a little bit new. But um, yeah, the trick is just to name it get. So we just name it get. And if you were using Spring, then we just annotate it with uh, yeah, the, the attribute instead of operation. So here we have the get get to do so these are these are attributes just because it's that we have a get in front of in front of them so it's not an operation when it starts with get then we have the class itself it implements the uh, to-do lists managed bean right here and i have a list of to-dos like that like that and when we create the when we create this class i would actually like to feed it with some shouldn't we feed it with some uh, yeah let us create Let's create a constructor right here. I want to add, I, I would actually like to add some to do's dot add, and then we add some to do's uh, by milk. Upload code, upload code, and what more? Uh, upload video, upload video. Like this. So this is my to-do list for today. Buy some milk, upload the code for the, from this video, and upload the video when it's done. So this is my constructor, and here I'm all writing all the the methods from the interface and in the list all to-dos, and I'm just returning stream, and then I'm collecting it and I'm collecting them as a string. That means that I'm actually I'm I'm actually creating this as a string. So this was just to keep it simple to begin with. So I'm returning a string. Simple types are better for 
for the J console, but it can actually also handle lists in many situations. It can handle lists, but it cannot handle complex objects. It cannot handle complex objects. So uh, do not try that. Just keep it simple. With, when you're using the J console, try to use the default. Uh, yeah, try to use strings and the primitive types. And it is okay to use a list. I've used one right here, and then we can see how it actually looks. Then we have the latest to do. It just returns the latest to do in from the list, and again, it's a string. Now let us see how it looks in the, in the console. So J console like this. Oh, I forgot to start the application. Start the application. So I start the application. Of course, right now I have my Spring application that uh, that keeps the thread uh, alive and running. Uh, but if you do not have that, then you would have to create, if, if, if it was a vanilla Java uh, uh, main, then you would have to create a, some kind of thread sleep uh, on yeah, in infinite or max max value or something like that. So so you just sleep right here because then you can then uh, you can see your A console. Uh, but let us just, let us connect, connect, new connection. Then I can see the demo application right there. Connect, we have the process ID right here. Connect to it, insecure connection, yes, yes, yes. M beans, manage beans right here. And Mike example, Mike that example, that was the name that I gave it. And I'll just show where that I used that. Look right here, Mike that example. Okay, that's a Q, but it was actually up here. Mike that example, type to do list, object name. I'm registering the bean right here. Then I'm continuing, so I will tell you what this is in, in just a minute. That is the second example I've created. That is something called. Uh, uh, MX bean instead, so that is where we are uh, using composite composite values, uh, and that is exactly because uh, J, J console prefers the, the primitive types and strings. But let us focus on this. This is the normal use case. So then we have the to do list right here. I click right here, and then I can see I have an, uh, first of all I have some attributes. The latest latest to do is upload video. I have it up here. Upload video. And I have some other values, didn't I have some, uh, what is it? Yeah, here we have latest to do's, and then we have to do's. Here we have the list, and the list, it actually looks okay in a list, right? We have the to do's right here. So that is actually a list, and I can double click, and uh, I can actually scroll up and down. So it kind of works with lists, or it, it works with lists, okay? We can see that, right? But try to, yeah, try not to use two complex types, and, uh, then everything falls apart. Add, let us add a new to do, and what could that be? Feed the fish, enter. Method successfully invoked. Then I can go look at latest to do. Now it's feed the fish. I can look at the to do's. Now I also have feed the fish in the list. So that means that we just manipulated a running application with M beans. So that means that I do not need to create a specific uh, administrative tool or a UI or anything. I can just use the J console. Here I'm listing all the to-dos, and here it will create me a nice string. Then I can copy and paste the string somewhere else if that's what I want to. So it can also return stuff. It's really, really useful. Delete, let us delete one. Uh, and now it, it is case sensitive because I have programmed it that way. Beat the, f uh, buy milk, let us remove that. Buy milk, I, I, I just found out, I, got, I have a lot of milk, so. Buy milk. And this is the new list then. Look, now we don't have buy milk inside the list. So that means that I can actually run all these operations in my J console. Um, and it, it, yeah, it replaces, yeah, it could replace an uh, admin tool as, as I mentioned a lot of times now. So that is one thing. Another thing, that is the Q sampler right here. That was actually an example I found. I think it was on Oracle's, uh, actually I don't remember where I found it. I found it somewhere. So, but the, there was a Q example with um, composite data composite data and then um what the trick is here is that we have some we have some complex types and then we want to make them less uh, less contact uh, complex with the mx bean and then j console actually work it still works even though it's a complex type with an object hierarchy um i must say that um i don't think that the, this is that uh, um that is that practical i, I actually prefer you can see here we have some fields right here, date, size, and hit. Then it's wrapped inside this class here. And then everything goes okay because we are creating an MX bean instead of a bean. So here we have a Q example. So this means we're actually returning a composite. We're returning a composite, uh, 
composite fields inside this object right here inside this class so that means that we yeah but I, I would just say don't do that don't do not use do not use complex types not do not use your own types just keep it simple when we are playing with the uh, imbeans and use the primitive types instead and plus the string at least that's yeah that's just that's my opinion so again uh, just leave a comment if you uh, disagree so that's actually it. So um, that's just what I want to show tonight. The J console JMX and an example for how to uh, control a to-do list from the J console. Thank you very much for watching. And um, the reason why I created this video was because I saw that you actually liked the, you pressed liked on the other uh, video. I use, I kind of use, I sometimes use the number of likes to see if I should create more videos uh, on that topic or not. Uh, but most of the times, so I must be honest, I just make videos about things that actually interest me. Um, so, but um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment as usual. Have a great evening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.